Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's video I want to show you how to remove and replace a three-tab shingle. So we don't really have one that really needs to be replaced but we're going to replace it anyways just to show you. So this is our shingle we're going to use as a replacement. It's not 100% the same shingle but you're not always going to be able to find the exact same color and everything. So, so you might have a shingle that's uh, damaged or maybe uh, part of it's blown off in the wind or something and, and you need to get in there and, and replace it. So we're going to say that this shingle here is the one in this case. So uh, being a three tab, basically when it's on there, there should be some nails in the tar strip, but they're going to be covered by the row above it. So if you take a flat bar like this and just carefully underneath and work the, the tabs loose they're going to be kind of stuck down because the tabs in the row above will be stuck into those tar things. So we'll get this tab loosened up. Okay so we got it to the point where we can kind of move it around. I have to get a couple more here. And if your roof's really hot and the shingles are really soft, you need to be even a little more careful so you don't put the bar right through and end up having to change more. Okay, I need this one too. Okay, so you need to be kind of careful. So when you're lifting these ones, these are the ones that uh, just need to be lifted when we nail the new one in place but you can see here here's the nails in the one we want to remove okay so I'm just gonna carefully go in here and try to get these ones out Depending on the type of shingles, uh, you're generally going to have four to six nails. Okay, so we've got those four nails out in this case. Now, this is the shingle we're removing, so we've got to pry it loose from the ones below. And the top row of shingles, or uh, sorry, the nails in this one might be through there, depending on the size of the shingle. So I'm just feeling to see if that's the case. And they are, so I've, I've just got to pull the uh, pull the nails out of this one up here too. Which means getting these tabs loosened off. And it's important to make sure we go back and get all these nailed back down where we've removed them. So I'll pop these nails out. Now remember this is the one we're actually trying to get out but we've had to go up two rows here to get at all the nails. And these shingles we, in this row, where we're using them so we don't want to damage the shingles too much either if we can help it. Now I think it should pull out for us now, hopefully. Oh, we still have one in there somewhere. Okay, so there's our shingle that we're removing. You can see our roof deck underneath there. Now what you can find too is sometimes the shingles are different sizes as far as the length. This one happens to be the right length so in your case you may have to trim yours off or, or use two to 
take up the space you're trying to take up. So basically slide it into position, just like that. And then you gotta hold these tabs up so that we can get some nails in. We're doing three tabs, so we're nailing right into the glue, or sorry, right into the little tar strip there. Okay, so that has our replacement shingle in place now. Now we've just got to go back and replace the nails up top where we pulled them out to get our old shingle out. So we're gonna have one here. We won't go right back in the exact same spot. Move over an inch or so. Okay, and with a little bit of sun and a little bit of time, these will stick back down again. If you have any concerns at all, maybe you're doing this late in the, in the fall or something when you're not expecting much warm weather to come, or uh, maybe there's a big windstorm on its way. You can uh, put some dabs of tar or roofing cement underneath here just to stick them down. Don't put too big a glob. Basically put a, a dab the size of a nickel or something on each corner. Just press that down in there and that'll just help them seal down a little bit quicker. Do that on all of them, all the ones that you lifted. put too much it uh, tends to leave a spot eventually that shows through on the up top side of the shingle I don't know if it just gets too hot and kind of melts melts the shingle or what exactly it is but like that and even the new one that you put in you may want to put a dab under each one it's gonna take a couple days of heat for these to get stuck down good so this extra roofing cement will help Well, for some reason you had to put a surface nail in here, you know, maybe these were getting a little curled up and, and just wouldn't lay down nice and you had to put in a, a surface nail, then just cover the head of the nail with a little bit of tar, uh, you know, just to seal it back up again, about the size of a quarter or so. Okay, so that gives you the basics on uh, pulling out a shingle. You can see obviously this one doesn't match, but if you're in a pinch and uh, can't find the exact matching shingle, this is still gonna be better than one with a hole in it or one that's been ripped off. Okay, so, you know, hopefully that answered the questions you had about this type of project. And uh, if it didn't, you can come to the forum, post your question up there, and I'll be sure to give you an answer to whatever your question is there. You can also uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you want, and uh, check out our Patreon page if you wouldn't mind. Thanks a lot.